Hi everyone, welcome to another video from World of Engineering. Today I'm going to talk about toroidal transformers. And uh, recently I just purchased two. And let's do kind of an unboxing one. I got this one um, from uh, Farnell uh, or Element 14. I really like um, the way they do packaging and the sending item, everything it's with. Um, um, priority um, careers and stuff and very fast and nice and clean so what we have comes with the bolt connection this one comes with uh, these two sponges to protect the base and top of the um, transformer and uh, this brand uh, good. it comes with this uh, metal cover which is um, kind of um, painted uh, or oven cured paint which um, looks uh, like an insulated material as well very nice finish and the brand of this uh, what was it? Oh, here. It's here. and this is the um, transformer the brand is uh, Norato and um, it's very heavy 500 VA um, put this away. Ah, it's 500 VA, and uh, it has two primary, um, two primary winding and two secondary windings. So the, what I have here, it's 500 VA um, 35 volt output. And the good thing about um, having two uh, primary winding is and that's how it looks. And if you imagine that's the um, that's the core, and it has two secondary windings as well. And the advantage of having two primary winding is you can connect it to um, all sort of uh, not all sort of but. Uh, what is with different countries? For example, in the US, you can connect it to 115 on each of uh, these two wires, the input, and get your 35 volt out there. And in um, Australia or other uh, countries, when the volt where the voltage is 2 to 30 um, or 240, you can simply connect these two winding um, in series, and you just connect these two. And you connect these two to 240 or 230, and you still get your uh, 35 out. Um, so, as I said, it's a 500 VA uh, transformer, almost 500 uh, watt, and and also for, with the secondary windings, which are these wires, the always the thicker. Um, wires because they're carrying more voltage more current because it's less voltage so uh, as as the voltage drops obviously the current uh, will be higher so it needs a thicker wiring cables and so for this basically this one is rated 7.14 amp um, on each uh, side just zoom in a bit One up. and that is obviously with this uh, sort of um, connection or if I want to get a 70 volt simply I connect these in uh, series again um, becomes like that and if I want um, have the 35 and use both uh, windings for one uh, instrument or one um, load I simply connect these two um, wires in parallel that means this one 
go there and this one will go there what you need to do um, is uh, with every transformer it should be stated here the color of um, outputs each wire because there is no um, solid standard on it so different manufacturers use different colors so you have to check it with the manual or uh, wherever it's stated and so why troidal transformers these first of all because they are a lot smaller um, compared to um, uh, normal um, or other type uh, other core type transformers or EIM, they call E-type e transformers. They're a lot uh, smaller, they're very um, thin. So if I would, if I wanted 500 VA um, uh, E-type uh, core transformer, it would be twice the size of this and uh, like um, very heavy. This is almost four kilogram. This one. So these are a lot thinner, a lot smaller, um, very slim. And more important, they're very efficient. This specific model, um, the um, iron losses, which is basically um, no load losses. So we have um, no load losses. That means when it, the transformer is energized and nothing is connected, the losses are about uh, 3 watts. And that's nothing um, compared to uh, uh, E-type transformers. And what are called the copper losses. The copper losses on this um, transformer, as I recall, is um, uh, about 30 watts. And the copper losses is basically it's the losses in the copper as it says when it's when the transformer is at full load and so basically this transformer is 95% uh, efficient which is really good and that's what you want um, if you want to use for anything for audio system or um, these sort of things you want something efficient and also it they um, have less humming less noise uh, so it's good to um, have it for uh, um, DAC systems or uh, preamplifiers. The second transformer that I bought, bought this from Altronics. Yeah, this is another 500 VA transformer. Um, as you can see, this one comes with the bolt and everything. But uh, you see the different in quality. Look at that and this. So this one, uh, uh, the brand is uh, Power Tran. Um, and this is the, it, it came with the um, sponge as well. Okay, that's it. Um, the, this is like a plastic uh, uh, PVC material. Um, this one it only has it only uh, has uh, only have um, one primary side, and but it has um, um, one two three four um, secondary ones or they call tertiaries and other bindings, and um, so it has this one is rated forty five volt output main. Um, Current uh, carrying output, current uh, current carrying load, and uh, the other ones are um, about uh, only handle like uh, amp, one amp or half an amp. It has 12 volt and 15 volt. So I can use this transformer in, for my amplifier and to power up other um, controls and preamplifiers and. Uh, protection with the 12 volt and 15 volt AC so I don't need to uh, have another uh, transformer that that's uh, uh, very um, handy 
as you can see, as I said, um, the quality is evident. And you can clearly see the quality by looking at these, the way the winding is done, the insulation. Um, this one, it's very uh, tight and very flat, um, nice and symmetrical. Well, this one is good, it's not, it's not bad, but it's like chubbier and uh, um, what's important about uh, toroidal transformer is the evenness between these um, uh, wires and when they do the windings. It has to be very, uh, um, the distance, distance between each winding is to be very um, even. And uh, this one is, you can see, it's very nice. And also, um, don't disturb this uh, plastic wrapping because it's this is not a, um, a wrap. This is an insulation, so don't touch that. Don't don't think that's part of uh, wrapping. You gotta take it out. Um, and for both, I paid around one hundred and twenty dollars Australian dollar. They are quite expensive. Uh, because the way they are manufactured, they're not that easy, and um, there are not many companies around the world doing it. There are, but not compared to e core types. And something else I would like to mention is very important that's for safety and protection. Never um, energize this transformer without having a fuse or circuit breaker. So when you do the connection, you should definitely have um, um, a fuse uh, in primary, um, uh, in primary side of the winding. And the reason for that is if you get any fault or short circuit in the second secondary side, um, the fault current it will be very high, very significant. It would uh, melt things down and. Um, you cannot really stop it and you'll definitely destroy your transformer and these things are expensive as I said so with the simple fuse here if you get any faults you can protect yourself and also the equipment well that's that's about it uh, thanks for watching make sure you comment if you have any question or if I missed something or uh, um, think uh, want to mention and uh, have a good day